Hi, kindergarten through second grade leaders. We are preparing for December 9th. This week, we are talking about this is Jesus, the one we need. As we look at all of the accounts of how Jesus came into the world, one of the things that humbles me, and definitely I know humbles many of you, is knowing that Jesus was born in the most humble beginning. He was born in a barn type thing um, in the middle of probably not the greatest it just, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't a perfect situation. Um, and so all, all of that is to help point us, to show us that God brought Jesus to be, to be a servant and to um, be the one that we need, that he didn't come to be this grand, big king like many of us, like many people were looking for at that time. He came to be a servant and to serve us and to be there to die on the cross for our sins. And so this week, we're going to talk with the kids about how the, Jesus is the one that we need. This is a great week to st share your testimony if you'd like to. Remember that um, those should be kid appropriate. I don't know everybody's story specifically, but I do trust you guys and know that um, you will share what's appropriate to share with kids. All right. You're... Social activity, you'll have some dice on your table. Your kids are supposed to throw both of the dice at the same time, and then you may have to help them. Um, but they're supposed to do um, both of the actions on there, um, if they can, at the same time. So mine says, shiver like a snowman and jingle like a bell. So while you're shivering, jing -a -jing -a -jing -a -jing -a -jing -a it's kind of like a bell. So... Let kids have fun with that. Then we'll move into large group and um, sing our Christmas songs together. After that, you'll move into small group. And your small group time um, should be a fun activity today. You are going to have a piece of paper that looks like this. It says breaking news story at the top. Another piece of paper that looks like this and a bag of Play-Doh. You'll also have some candy canes, and I'll get to that in a minute. So what you're supposed to do is give each kid just a kind of a lump of Play-Doh. And as you read the story, kids are supposed to place Play-Doh down on the hands when they think that in this story there was a time every time you hear someone in the story doing something wrong, then you're going to take a piece of Play-Doh and smush it onto, this is called a friendship card. So as kids begin to respond to the wrong things, stop each time and discuss what wrong they heard. And ask the group if they have ever done something like that. At the end of the story, place all the Play-Doh back in the container and give each kid a piece of candy. Ask why they think Elmer and Alvira needed a savior and discuss how we all need a savior. So what we are hoping kids see through this cute little story about some elves is that all of us could be like Elvira and Elvis and do wrong things. And so we needed a savior to come and rescue us so that we don't have to live in our wrong things and those wrong things continue to separate us from God. Um, then you can pass out and give each kid a candy cane. You'll have a bag of candy canes like this. And then your memory verse is written on here. You'll have a bag of balloons. If you want each kid to have a balloon, there's plenty of balloons there for that. If you want to just inflate one balloon and use that for your activity, they're supposed to pass, toss the balloon around. Keep the balloon in the air as you say each word. And then you will pray and dismiss your kids. 
remind kids as they're walking out to talk about this week with their families and with the kids at school what it is that they need at Christmas. Many of us have lots of things on our want list, but maybe we need to consider what we need. And Jesus is the only one we truly need. And God sent him at the perfect time in the right place so that he could be our savior. Merry Christmas and thank you guys for leading.